Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. Uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some rust texture to an image just to have a bit of fun with it and have a bit of a play around and give a different look. It's as simple as that. So what I've done is on the second tab at the top which I've opened I've downloaded this rust texture from the internet just type in rust and texture backgrounds and do that in Google and it'll open up thousands of them pick the one that you want to try make sure it's copyright free it'll tell you that once it's okay just download it and you can have a lot of fun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this texture to my main image which is there so all I'm going to do is go to select and then select all making sure that the whole of the frame is selected go to edit and copy then go back to the tab where I want the effect to take part on which in this case is carry the line then I'm going to go back to edit and go down to paste special and across to paste in place once you've done that that'll happen what you selected all of it will cover the whole image itself that's why you paste in place because you want it to go all over the image then I'm going to move to the right hand side and go to normal drop down box when you click on this and go to screen now once you go to screen as you can see you can see the line again but it's still very messy so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to and add a layer mask which is this little box here that looks like a, a camera click on that and as you can see the layer one has opened up with the white blank with like a frame around it that's what you're going to be working on so making sure going over to the left hand side that the black box is at the foreground and then go to a paintbrush making sure that you can get the full bit and just literally just dab it over the area that you want to break through once you've done that basically then it's still a little bit too rich so we need to calm this down and how to do that is go back to where it says screen and across to where it says opacity select the little arrow and move the slider down to where you feel that the opacity is more comfortable for your image itself in this case it's 54 percent then right click on the layer mask and just go down to flatten the image and that's it it's as simple as that so have some fun and uh, look forward to seeing some of your pictures bye for now